Hey guys, what's up? It's Dallas, back at Dallas Life on Time. Uh, and the reason I'm posting a Michael Jackson review figure on my Dallas Life on Time channel is because I can't get into my stupid shit 14 account, which I do reviews of figures on. For some reason, I can't log into that account right now. So until then, I'm just going to upload my reviews on this channel right now. And if you want to check out some of my re reviews on my Stupid Shit 14 channel, just look up stu Stupid Shit, which I spelt it. It's Stupid than It's Stupid than S H T 14. Stupid S H T 14, all one word. And I can't log into the account right now, but if you can, if you want to, check out some of my other reviews on there. I did some reviews of other figures and stuff. And if I can log into that account later on sometime, or find a way to get to that account, I'll upload this video onto that account. But for right now, I'm just going to upload this video to my Dallas Siphon Time account. Uh, th today's review is of the Hot Toys Michael Jackson Bad Version DX03, which is, of course, the DX03 explains it all. It's the third iteration of the DX figures, which means the eyes move, it comes to the deluxe stand, and of course, the deluxe packaging. Uh, for the box, the cover is pretty simple, like the other DX figures, like the Joker, it's pretty plain. You got a nice picture of the Michael Jackson cover, a bad. Then you got the MJ logo symbol, Michael Jackson, bad version, DX03, one six go collectible figure. Then you got the labeling, uh, Triumph International Inc., with the little symbol of Michael Jackson standing on his tiptoes and his penny loafer shoes. Bravado, that's a licensing brand, it has Michael Jackson merchandise. DX, oh, excuse me. Uh, DX and then Hot Toys. On the side, you got Michael Jackson, bad version with the collectible figure. DX of three down there with the red. Nothing on that side. Pretty plain right there. Plain right there. Then on the back, you just got the DX information and the product information. So let's open them up. It's red on both the top. It's red on top and bottom. Whereas the DX Joker is like purple or blue or something on the bottom and this kind of grayish black color on the front. So let's open them up. It's a magnetic door. Let's open them up. Here on the side you got an album thing with some writing to Michael Jackson and earlier and about the Thriller album and his other songs, Beat It and Billie Jean and stuff like that. So this is Michael Jackson, bad version with still collect the figure, same thing. Right here you got information about the bad song, 1987. Try to put this. If you, if you guys want to read that, you know, just pause the video and read it if you want to, because I gotta try to make this video as quick as I can, because iPhone 4 is only recorded for so long before I can send it to YouTube. Here you got, like, a, it's not a real record, but it's like an imitation of what a real record would be, I guess, of Michael Jackson bad version, I guess. And it's actually got, if you can see that, some lines going on the record to make it look like a realistic record, but on the back it's plain just plastic, and that just fits right there and has a foam covering. And if you want to actually get to the figure itself, you pull this little red slip right here, like if you would on the Joker DX or the Batman DX or whatever. Right. Here you got the figure itself. Uh, let me put the stuff to the side. Michael Jackson, bad version head sculpt. And if you guys want to read that or pause it to read it you can do that we got the figure itself Michael Jackson bad now when you purchase this figure it does not actually come in the Dirty Diana outfit already that the Dirty Diana outfit comes in the very bottom in the little package slips and uh, surfing here the TV in the background but I'll, you know, I'll try to get over that uh, for right now I have the Dirty Diana outfit on but when you get this figure it already comes in the bad outfit there's the belt around his waist there's his bad pants his glove with the spikes, his other glove with no spikes. Let's, uh, before I take to figure out what's going on, what the other stuff has, put it off to the side. You got the bad jacket, which would, when you get this figure brand new, it had the Dirty Diana button up shirt right here, and the undershirt, white shirt for the Dirty Diana outfit right here package. But I switched the outfit out and put the bad jacket and the bad shirt underneath, under the bad jacket, and this little package of the Dirty Diana outfit originally came in. You gotta stand, which note, when you actually want to display this figure, you actually have to take that, you know, crotch grabber thing out and switch it around, because when you're displaying it, this part right here goes like that, 
this part right here has to go to the stand right there. Instead of turning around right there, for some, I don't know why Hot Toys did that, but it kind of, kind of screws you over if you don't know what you're doing. If you're like new to this, it kind of screws you over until, you get, until it's too late. Uh, I have taken this out of the plastic wrap a few days ago, but I put it back in just to keep it nice and safe. When you get this figure, when you take out plastic wrap, there's a little plastic covering covering the silver part right there, which has Michael Jackson and Micon DX engraved. Here you have extra hands with various poses and some extra uh, Hot Toys figure pegs right here. I guess in case you lose the pegs or break the pegs to your Michael Jackson Bad DX03 figure, or in case you just want to put these on some other hands in case you want to switch out the hands every now and then. Sometimes when you pull up, when you try to switch out the hands, the peg gets stuck on the hand and you have to take it out of the hand, which could probably break the hand. And you're gonna another note to thing is if you get this bad figure of a Hot Toys, be really careful with his right hand with the spikes on it, because even though these spikes are sharp, they're still kind of loose. And if you play with them too much, the spikes will come loose and come out of the hand itself. So. Be really careful when you're handling the hands that have the spikes on, especially when you're switching or interchanging these hands that have the spikes. Be really careful when you're uh, messing with this hand right here, because those spikes tend to come out really easily. Because I have another bad DXO3 figure by Hot Toys, and the spikes already came off the open palm hand. Actually, a few came off, and I decided to take them all off, just because they wouldn't look good with just a few spikes on it. So be really careful with the spikes if you guys get this figure. Just be really careful with that. Does it really matter if the spikes come off? Yes and no. It really depends if you're planning on selling the figure in the future. But if you're not really planning on selling the figure, then it shouldn't really matter if it loses it. Because the Hot Toys figures, some figures have more accessories and make them more fragile. And sometimes you'll lose stuff. But if you're not really planning on selling the figure in the future, if you're just planning on keeping the figure for yourself, then losing stuff shouldn't really be a big matter that much. I already lost one button off my Michael Jackson Hot Toys Beat It version figure from the 10th anniversary exclusive thing. I'm going to try to put this figure back in the package and get the figure out itself to show you guys. You were the president of Mexico? You did all that instead of going to high school? Here's the figure itself guys. Here's the Dirty Diana outfit. Originally on the Hot Toys prototype pictures, the button-up shirt's tucked out, but if you look at the Dirty Diana music video, or the live tour of Dirty Diana, he has the shirt actually tucked in the belts, and when he's dancing and stuff, the shirt slowly comes out of the belts, like at the front and stuff. Then at the very part, he rips his undershirt and does that, but I wouldn't recommend ripping the shirt unless you have an extra one. Here's the hands. Like I said, be really careful with the spikes, because they'll come off really easily. It's, they're not too fragile, but if you mess around and throw it around and stuff, which I wouldn't understand why you throw it around, but if you do, spikes will become loose over time and cut, pop out. If you don't really plan on selling the figure anytime soon or at all, really, if you just plan on keeping the figure for yourself, then losing the spike shouldn't be a big problem that much. Knowing that you can get the extra accessories on eBay, but most of the time it's from Hong Kong, and I'm not sure if Hong Kong's contaminated by Japan, but probably not. But... Usually on eBay you can get Hot Toys accessories without having to buy the whole figure new again or use whatever comes up. I mean, this figure is like crazy accurate to the video, guys. I mean, I'm not an expert like showing how accurate it is, but it's crazy accurate as far as I know. Got that white thing on the side. And uh, here I'll demonstrate the purrs. You can see the little eye. There we go, if you guys can see that really good. And this is a really dead-on face sculpt on this figure. It's a real big improvement over the Thriller figure. I mean, the Thriller figure is really accurate too, but this head sculpt is just really nice. And looks just pretty much just like him in the bad video. And to take off, to do the purge, you just simply remove the magnetic hair attached in the back of his hair. And there's a magnetic latch right there and there that hook on magnetically when you get the position of the eyes you want. And just like the Joker figure has a little swivel thing in the back of the head. The Batman has a different thing to activate the purse, but the Joker is pretty much the same thing as this right here when you're doing the purse. It has a little joystick. 
and when you move it around gently, it moves the eyes. 